best-selling and business book titles. Alan Jordan, sales director of Book Buzz, is with me in the studio as usual. Alan, good morning. And this week we're looking at the strategist, Be the Leader Your Business Deserves by Cynthia Montgomery. And she is an academic at Harvard Business School. Is this a very dry book written quite badly for lots of <laughs> academics? Yeah, initially um, that was my concern, uh, Ian, because... Um, Cynthia ran the strategy course at Harvard Business School for entrepreneurs, owners and presidents and she had a bit of a road to Damascus so in between all the SWOT analysis and Porter's five forces she was talking to executives uh, late in the evening when they come back in after class to talk about the real issues they were having and she began to realise that strategy isn't just for the backroom consultants put the framework models together strategy is all about the strategist as about the leader looking at some of the things she says i mean she actually has some really good insights into this you know does your company matter what what would happen if you weren't here tomorrow would it make any difference yeah you know uh do you know what it reminds me a little bit of some of the books we've covered before in uh, particularly first conversations the innovators dna which spoke about remember the attributes that innovators needed to have observing, networking, experimenting. But one of the key ones, and this is the thing she comes up with, is questioning. And she would argue that the essential strategist must confront four basic questions. And those questions are, first of all, what does my organization bring to the world? Does that difference matter? And is something about it, um, is it scarce and difficult to imitate? And then are, are we doing today what we need to do in order to matter tomorrow. So, yeah, so why does your business matter? Yeah, and some of the, she gives the examples. Now, we're not going to go... Everybody in these book titles gives mm. Apple as, as the example. We're fed up luckily at Apple. You can use it for marketing, communications, technology, services. But she gives some really good practical examples of companies that have implemented these strategies. Yeah, now, in fairness, uh, she, look, Apple is in there and Pixar. Um, there's a great piece on IKEA and also the Gucci group that I forgot had been uh, redeveloped and revamped by Domenico de Sol's uh, leadership. But uh, it, there's more than that. In fact, the example, one of the key examples you give is she talks about a company, um, Masco, who were master of the mundane, as in they did faucets and all non-sexy stuff. And then they tried to go into the furniture business because saw the gap in the U.S. Let's take on the furniture business. We'll take it apart. And it compares what happened to them. And I'm not giving any secrets away when they made a complete mess of it as against IKEA. So the, the book is chock full of examples that will appeal to the plumber, the accountant, as well as it does to the large multinational insurance company and bank. And it really gets back down to, well, what is your purpose? Why are you here? Why are you going to make a difference? If if you weren't here tomorrow, uh, would any of your customers miss you? Now, you go to a lot of multinationals that we know of over the last 10 years, you go, no, no. Uh, and then also, so if you're the, the shop corner, if you're the accountant, the plumber, what are you doing anything different? than the next guy or person or woman that's going to make you count. And they're very, very difficult questions to answer. Isn't she putting out, I suppose, the expense of consultants who are brought in to do company strat- strategy out of business by teaching you how to do this, do this yourself? Yeah, well, she, she's, she's arguing that it, it, like, but she goes along with Porter's five forces and all that sort of good stuff is that, look, too much of that has gone into this kind of, this, the strategy room. Remember we had Terry Leahy, uh, last week talking about strategists. Yeah, former Tesco boss. Absolutely. If, if you've got too many strategists, uh, you know, you're, you're telling the world you don't know what's going on. So her argument is that you, you've got to take it back and that the essential ingredients, and we would have covered books over the last year on strategy, like the 33 strategies of war, um, break from the pack. And actual fact, she talks, she used the phrase in the book about pulling away from the pack. And it is about having the individual characteristics that you need to do that. And she goes into great length to do that. But it's, you know what, it's all about asking questions. And that this whole thing of strategy, it isn't, okay, we've got the strategy formula, they're five-year strategy, let's implement that. I don't know. Strategy changes. It's always changing. And you're going to have to lead that change. One thing to watch out for is always the myth of the super manager, the person who thinks they know everything. Yeah, and um, she argues that there are so many, she, and she gives lots of examples of, listen, we've got a super management team. Uh, we're all brilliant. So throw anything at us and uh, we'll sort it out. And in actual fact, that's some of the difficulties she, she highlights about all companies that you get this very strong leader so listen follow me everything's going to be okay and they follow them like lemmings all over thing I'll, I'll leave you one last piece particularly about I mean she argues that the only sustainable strategy is one that anticipates change and that what you've got to do there is you've got to make sure that um, you know the industry is going to change or people are going to change and what she argues is that it will, it will change 
But the person that's going to do that is the strategist. So the strategist is the leader, and that's why it's so important. Okay, Alan Jordan, Sales Director of BookBuzz. Thank you very much for joining us. And that title is The Strategist, Be the Leader Your Business Deserves by Cynthia Montgomery. Up next, will Man United score?